There's been a whole other class of drugs, which are these immune-based um, drugs, actually originally started with what was, I think, um, just an incredibly um, you know, uh, uh, courageous idea of vaccinating people against um, amyloid in the brain, um, led by Dale Shank, which was an injection of A-beta into the brain or into the blood, and then you got an immune response and that cleared amyloid. Um, that, um, that approach led to side effects in individuals that were intolerable and was um, discontinued. But since then, there have been a number of these passive immunization approaches, which is what aducanumab is, which is where you give someone an antibody to the plaques or to a beta, and uh, which is the protein that makes those plaques, um, and to see if you can either remove or stop the deposition of amyloid in the brain. And each of these different um, immune-based drugs target different um, pieces of these proteins or plaques. Some of them target um, things that you would only see in the form of a plaque, and some actually target um, the proteins that make up those plaques when they're insoluble, before they kind of form these plaques, so when they're, or when they're soluble, when they're in fluid or just made up of a few molecules. And so one of the things in interpreting different um, studies is they, they um, all attack, uh, uh, attack different um, stages of amyloid. And amyloid actually has a kind of lifespan of being individual molecules to forming clumps um, in fluid to then being deposited in the brain. Um, and the one thing that I will say that, um, you know, is um, that we've seen is a number of failed trials with these, um, with these kinds of drugs, um, but many of them have shown actually very little clearance of amyloid. The earlier ones that had failed, like papanuzumab, which was one that was um, a very um, highly touted drug, actually really didn't clear amyloid all that much, whereas a sort of second generation of these drugs show much, much more clearance of amyloid from the brain. And I will say um, with those drugs, so there's one called denanumab, which is um, a, a developed by Lilly, and we're doing uh, that trial with that drug right now. There's one called lacanumab, um, which is also part of uh, a preclinical trial that we're um, doing as a center. And there's one called gantanerumab. Um, those drugs all seem to clear amyloid kind of like what aducanumab does. And I would say in each of them, they've all shown some degree of signal that they might slow down the course of the disease or affect downstream um, changes that you see in, in the brain. Uh, related to the tau protein that builds up um, in the brain as well. And so I think that whole approach 